Hey, this is Jason Morris from Real Estate Agency Really Work, uh, the Facebook group. And I wanted to, um, so I just released my, my course uh, for free on YouTube called uh, Jason Morris for Sale by Owner Master. And I wanted to, um, and then I realized that I didn't really have an introduction to it. And I've had people message me going, hey, what is this and what does it cost? My YouTube, um, the YouTube course is free. You don't even have to, you don't even have to register to, um, to take it. So, and one of the reasons I've done that was because I, I really wanted to give back to the real estate community and I want to want people to have a system that they can follow. And I want them to understand what the for sale by owner process is and what you have to do to successfully take these listings because I, I get them constantly. I mean, if it's in my area and it pops up for sale by owner, man, my close rate ratio is through the roof. Um, and that's from the moment I find the for sale by owner to the moment that I have it on the market. You know, this is overall I'm talking about is through the roof. So in this course, I talk about, you know, why do people for sale by owner and what the common um, common things are, what the common uh, reasons why people are putting their home on the market. And it really lots of times is, is pretty simple. I mean, it's not a lot of um, it's not a lot of questioning why people do it. People. I mean, they have some funny reasons, you know, sometimes they just don't know how realtors work. Sometimes they think they're saving money. Sometimes they think they have a buyer. Um, I talk about it in detail, but um, then the next thing I talk about is I talk about your lead sources because without lead sources, you don't really have a business. If you have no leads coming in, then you have no business and whatever business you're doing, once that dries up or ends, you're going to be out of business. So if you're not getting new clients, you're slowly going out of business. Okay, number three, I talked about magic scripts and the magic that's within scripts. I mean, there is no magic question and magic, magic secret thing, but I talk about your magic script and how to make how to make your script magic. I guess that's the way I should be explaining it. Um, the number number four, you know, I talk about eleven ways that I follow up with four sale by owners. And I mean, these ways you can take them, you can customize them, you can um, you can set them up to fit your needs and your situation. And these are probably the only 11 scripts and 11 follow-up methods that you'll ever really need. Um, number five, I talk about no fancy follow-up. I see agents all the time. They try to, and what I mean by fancy follow-up is they want to send video texts, they want to send video emails. And all that stuff's great. It's cool technology, but the truth of it is most of our clients um, you know, are not up to date on technology like we are. So number six, I talk about your for sale by owner pricing strategy and your um, pricing presentation. You know, the problem a lot of agents I see have is they, they'll tell somebody, hey, your house will sell for $100,000. And then you, you basically can ask that agent, hey, how did you come up with $100,000? And they'll look at you, they give you deer and headlights kind of looks because they don't know. That's just a number they pulled up, and uh, maybe they pulled it off of comparables that sold two years ago. I, I hear all the time, the last one that sold in the community. Last one that sold in the community sold five years ago, so what are you going to do now? I mean, that that isn't even relevant to what's happening in the world today. The world's changed so much in five years. So you got to have a, a pricing strategy that you can relay to your clients that's easy to relay, easy to understand, and you got to know how to present that that strategy and that pricing presentation. Okay. Number seven, I talked to you about your listing paperwork and I'm not talking to you about the legalities of the paperwork and what's done in your state and stuff. I'm telling you how to present it because you can have the greatest presentation in the world and then you present the, the paperwork and the listing contract wrong and you will scare your client off every single time, you know, and I think a lot of agents do that. They build great rapport. They're nice people. The people trust them. Then they get to the paperwork part. And honestly, the agent don't know what it says. I mean, they've read it word for word, but they don't truly know what it says. And they don't know how to relay that to a client so that they can properly understand it and feel comfortable. Because, I mean, there's some scary stuff in there. So I talk about that. You Number eight, I talk about building a tough mindset. And because the the work that we do, you know, it's not physically hard. I mean, we're not we're not roofing houses and we're not digging ditches and that sort of thing. But mentally, it can be draining. I mean, to call people to have to, to constantly be on point 
um, to answer question after question. You know, I can, some days I can do two or three listing presentation in the same day and I'm just mentally exhausted from it. But I talk about how to build a tough mindset and how to build a mindset to, to be able to um, reach your goals and, and um, do the things that we need to do it every day. Number nine, I talk about setting up your listing appointment to win. And, and the reason I do this, I don't just set an appointment then show up and hope for the best. I set an appointment, then I have a process that I follow. I have a sales process. And so I go down through that process. You know, what happens between you setting the appointment and you knocking on their door? Because some things need to happen in there. So I talk about that. Number 10, two things happen in every single listing appointment. And I'm not talking about, oh, you, you're either sold, you sell them or they sell you um, because that's, that's, that's bullshit. Um, but two things happen in every single listing appointment. And both of those things are positive. And I talk about those in my for sale by owner master um, course that's free on YouTube. Then um, number 11, I see it all the time. I talk about there's one reason most agents have problems setting appointments with for sale by owners. And I mean, it really goes back. They don't have a process. They don't have anything that they can put those leads into and work them through so that they can, they come out the other end and sign listing, listing agreements. Um, I talk about what the problem is you're having, because I know what your number one problem is with for sale by owner appointments. Uh, number 13, we talk about building your pre-appointment package. Um, well, actually as number 12, we talk about building your pre-appointment package. You know, what it's going to look like, what it needs to come, what you need to do, what you don't need to do and all that stuff. Um, Number 13, we talk about overcoming for sale owner objections. It's only about four or five objections that we see over and over again. When it get, you get outside of those four or five, you know, you might be looking at a condition rather than an objection. And sometimes, uh, you know, sometimes the day just truly isn't a good day to put a house on the market, you know. Um, and, and it happens like that sometimes. Sometimes they're not really giving you an objection. They're giving you a condition. And sometimes that condition sucks and you can't meet it. Number um number 14, I tell you about CRMs and what the best CRM on the planet is for keeping up with these leads. You know, like most for sale by owners, you know, you're not going to get a whole lot of them a day. You know, this isn't a lead source where you're going to get 20 leads a day. You know, in a lot of markets, you're going to get like two leads a day. You know, some markets you might get, you know, two or three for sale by owner leads a week. I mean, if you're getting more than two or three a day, you're really lucky. Um but you got to have an easy way to keep up with them. And I, I tell you about the best for sale by owner CRM on the planet, the best thing I've ever used. And I still use it to this day, how it works and what to do with it. Number 16 um, or number 15, I talk about setting up your for sale by owner net sheet. What needs to go with it? Why you need to have one? And if you're not using one, you're doing a disservice to your client and you're doing a disservice to yourself. And if you keep having commission, objections over and over again, and you can't really overcome them, this net sheet is going to help you do that before you ever get to their door. I tell you what needs to go in it, when you need to send it, when it needs to get to the person, what you need to do in a listing appointment with it and all that stuff. And then finally, I talk about my listing presentation and what my presentation looks like. Um, because I, like I said, I, I have a sales system. You know, a lot of us, we forget that we're salespeople. And um, my listing presentation goes down through this whole thing for you. So this is my introduction to my for sale by owner um, master course. You can find it at Jason Morris uh, for sale by owner master or FSBO And, um, you know, go through it, ask any questions you have. It's, it's completely free on YouTube. And if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, you know, my number one source of leads for, uh, for sale by owners is Red X and uh, they have a great system. I think it's one of the best, best uh, lead aggregation data sources that is available to real estate agents. And I think the price they're offering at is a steal for the amount of time and energy it saves you and uh, the quality of leads you get through their for sale by owner service. Well, thanks guys. If you're not a part of my Facebook um, group, real estate agents, they really work. You need to go join it and have a great day.